Hello, dear friends. My name is Gustavo Gonzalez. I am the Deputy Head of Mission of the Embassy of Chile and Chargette Affairs. And I'm very glad to participate in this interview. And I would like first to introduce you to our host, the General Director of Hilton, Mr. Felix Bush, and the Vice General Manager, Mr. Michael Leibel, both are very important persons and friends of us, and we appreciate deeply their hosting of this interview. Thank you. This year is a very mindful for both countries. Therefore, as an embassy, we have been planning a compre comprehensive agenda of activities to commemorate this day. Just to highlight some events, in mid-April, we host the first seminar on Chile-Korea future bilateral relations, in which occasion diplomats, academics, and business people actively participate. This activity was possible thanks to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Korea, the Korean Council of Latin America and the Caribbean, and the Korean International Trade Association. On the culture arena, I can mention the donation to Korean libraries of the complete works of Gabriela Mistral and Pablo Neruda, the two Nobel Prizes awarded Chilean poets. Additionally, in September, we will host an exhibition related to the 500 years of the second navigation of the Strait of Magellan. This will be held in the National Library for children and young adults. Also, we are in the second stage of our digital initiative, Chilean Food Monday, that present videos about our culinary receipts with Korean subtitles made by Chilean ladies living in Seoul. As I mentioned, our bilateral agenda is very comprehensive. President Boric and June will continue to path that we have developed during these first 60 years. Topics such as science and technology, renewable energies and climate change will remain as top priorities for us. We recently signed and met more of understanding on green hydrogen collaboration to be prepared for the future of the energy sector. And we have the challenge to implement the MOU that a couple of years ago we signed on the fourth industrial revolution cooperation. By signing the FTA, both countries made his history because it was the first agreement of this kind reached between an Eastern and a Western country. As a main result of this agreement, I can mention many positive aspects. The arrival of fresh Chilean fruit and vegetables, the Korean family's table is one of them. Of course, Chilean wine, that is our national proud, is available everywhere in Korea and is the most consumed wine in the country. Later on, we will have the opportunity to see some of the Chilean products that can be found in the local markets. For Chile, it, it also means a lot since Korean worldwide known technology companies can offer its products in our market in a very affordable prices. Korean computers, mobiles and cars are used in Chile, contributing to the ease of our daily life, thanks to these top-ranked technologies. Currently, we are in the process of updating the FTA, signed, signed in 204. This is the aim to widen even more our bilateral trade that reached more than 6,500 million in 2021, giving Korea the fifth place in the list of Chilean business war partners. This is a very interesting question. Uh, my family and I, we lived in Korea in 1993 to 1995, 30 years ago. And after that time, we came back. And the first feeling we felt was like we came at a place like a home. So we feel very nicely to be in Korea for a second time. Now Korea, of course, has changed a lot, has changed a lot in terms of modernity, buildings, 
and uh, everything is beautiful compared to that time, to, to 30 years. But you have kept some very good traditions. Uh, be friendly with foreign people is one of those traditions we like the most. And of course, I can conclude by saying that Korea has changed a lot, but for good. And this is my conclusion and the conclusion of my wife, who has experimented the same with me these days. Thank you for that. Thank you.